Hello everyone, Marsh W13 here with a hotel review and this week we are in my hometown of Houston, Texas at the Marriott Marquis in the east part of downtown in a room on the 22nd floor. I believe it's a relatively standard room but uh, it does have a view of the uh, pool which has a special feature that we'll see in a moment uh, and uh, it overlooks Discovery Green which is uh, a, uh, a scenic uh, park adjoining the convention center on uh, the edge of downtown. So uh, let's say we check out the room. So we're on the 22nd floor in room 2239 to be exact and we'll start with the bathroom which is just on the left as you enter the room. And uh, as I mentioned, this is a Marriott Marquis, which is a cut above even the JW Marriott and uh, probably just below the uh, Ritz Carlton in terms of prestige of properties within the Marriott portfolio. And so we should expect only the best here. And we do see what appear to be some unique bath amenities. I don't know if they're unique to this hotel or unique to um, the Marriott Marquis brand, but uh, it appears to be called This Works. And we have shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, the usual, and uh, a couple of bars of soap. Everything extremely modern, as one would expect, including what appears to be a photo or some sort of rendering of the rings of Saturn. Um, some pretty nice pattern uh, work here on the wallpaper and a walk-in shower. I wouldn't say that any of this is earth-shatteringly luxurious, but uh, but it's probably, uh, you know, right at what you might expect in terms of meeting the, uh, the standard for a, a premium or even perhaps an ultra premium hotel room. There is an ice bucket, a bottle of water that does not appear to be free. Looks like it costs five dollars and uh, the what I presume would have been glass cups uh, before the onset of the pandemic have been replaced with hermetically sealed plastic cups and there is some sort of a uh, a slightly substandard perhaps uh, coffee maker with uh, coffee supplies everything standard thus far not sure I uh, am, have encountered anything ultra premium yet. There is a, a mini fridge which is not stocked, which is probably uh, fine by me. And uh, it does appear to be cooling at least slightly. And it matches the appearance of other mini fridges that I've observed in recent trips. And then we have a rather uh, deceivingly uh, spacious closet with uh, at least 10 hangers, a bag for your laundry, and of course this is a, an extremely full service hotel. So uh, you can have any number of uh, uh, or any number of laundry-related services at your disposal. All of them extremely expensive. And you have, of course, uh, an ironing board and uh, an iron tucked away here in on a shelf, and uh, plenty of room for luggage, a luggage stand, and a safe. But uh, nothing, uh, nothing particularly interesting. I don't see a bathrobe. 
I don't see slippers and uh, there's no supplementary bedding or anything like that but again everything quite modern this uh, uh, this hotel I believe opened just in time for was it Super Bowl 50 or 51 uh, wh whichever Super Bowl was last hosted in Houston uh, which I believe was in February of 2021 and this was the official hotel of that uh, Super Bowl now entering the main living area this is where my expectations really increase for a, uh, a luxury hotel experience and it appears that uh, I at least won't be disappointed in that we have some high quality materials in the bedding a duvet like uh, coverlet a very nice material you can tell these are going to be probably high thread count sheets four pillows um, the, 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 the bed and the supporting apparatus, again, as you would expect in a hotel that's only three years old, is all, um, you know, relatively modern, but uh, I wouldn't say anything that, that blows me away. Uh, one of the things that, you, that can't be conveyed in video, of course, is the scent of the room, and I can tell they do pump some sort of... Uh, a, uh, a pleasant aroma into uh, probably the entire entirety of the hotel including the lobby and, and the hallways but uh, but that's managed to find its way into the room as well which which I can confirm is is quite uh, pleasant I'm not sure what it is exactly um, but uh, of course these light fixtures they turn on and off there's a, a drawer space here uh, no Gideon Bible And then on this side, and now on that side, there were absolutely no outlets. There were, I, I take that back, there were two, uh, you know, standard, I guess, you know, whatever, 110 volt electrical outlets on the wall, but uh, nothing bedside. But on this side, on the right side over here, you have uh, a phone and a, uh, a little cube time alarm clock that has uh, two regular electrical outlets and two USB outlets, as well as more electrical and USB outlet uh, availability on the wall there. So this is all sturdy stuff. Again, just um, nothing that would, would necessarily blow you away, I would say. Now the television is quite large. It's a, uh, it appears to be a 40 something incher easily definitely larger than in uh, in other full service hotels in which I've stayed lately and uh, I have it tuned to just the the Marriott Bonvoy um, welcome channel I suppose right now but it's uh, it's LG brand uh, uh, clearly high resolution and it sits atop um, a uh, a chest of drawers here, plenty of space, but only two drawers. Again, nothing that's just going to, to blow you away here. Um, and then this, uh, this working area here, the desk is extremely large. Uh, it has, uh, in other words, a, a, a high surface area, and there's plenty of light provided by this uh, dual bulb lamp here, which is uh, nice and modern as well and again the artwork which all seems to be uh, space themed this one a uh, time lapse of, uh, of the Milky Way from the ground at night there is room service provided during the pandemic and nearly all of their restaurants I think they have five restaurants and maybe three or four of them are open including Zochi which is one of the best restaurants in Houston um, uh, at the lobby level they're all open, but there is room service provided as well, which I believe is uh, probably 24 hours. I say probably because I do not have access to a room service menu. I believe there's a barcode you can uh, scan that I saw in the lobby, but, uh, but I was expecting there to be another barcode to scan once you arrive in the room. Uh, it doesn't do you much good in the lobby, and so uh, someone either removed that from this room or it's simply not there. The... Um, the 
chair, swivel chair here is, uh, I, I guess, fairly standard, uh, but it it's, uh, it lacks armrests, so it's not terribly ergonomically friendly for, I guess, a, a road warrior, which uh, of which there are many that probably stay in this hotel to attend a convention at George R. Brown. And just off the bed is this little living room type lounge area. And this, I think, really, really shines. Again, the artwork, uh, the light fixtures, everything appears top notch. And look at this little couch, uh, chaise lounge kind of a, a thing here. It's, it's really, really large, has really large pillows. Um, it's very, very comfortable, nice and soft but not too soft. And it's got this, uh, this table here, which, which uh, doesn't swivel, but it, but it does move. And, uh, and so you could sit here and do work or read or, or, or even dine uh, with a view out the window, which we'll see in a moment. And we have this little ottoman here as well. But I suppose the real draw for this hotel is the location, which, as I mentioned, is just adjacent to the George R. Brown Convention Center on the eastern edge of downtown. And the real draw for this room is probably the view. And speaking of the view, I suppose we'll start with the pool area, which consists of this Texas-shaped lazy river, which has really brought... Uh, national and, and perhaps international acclaim to this uh, hotel and made a big uh, splash, no pun intended, when the hotel uh, opened again uh, in January, February of 2017, just prior to the Super Bowl hosted in Houston. And uh, so it is a, a, a lazy river, uh, meaning that uh, you can take an inner tube and float uh, and, it, and it has waters that will take you on a journey around uh, the, uh, the, the state there. And um, as you can see in the center of the state, there's a little bridge there uh, that you cross from uh, other areas of the pool deck to, uh, to the, the cutout of the state of Texas, which is sort of an island in the middle of the Lazy River. And as you would expect, there are all sorts of related amenities. There are cabanas that it appears that you can rent. There's a little picnic area there, what looks like some sort of a, a pavilion with a roof on it. And uh, there's some folks there enjoying themselves in the hot tub. Not a lot of activity otherwise on the pool deck uh, today. But uh, given that it is in the 60s here, it's actually a, a relatively warm day here in December of 2020 uh, in, in contrast with other days that we've seen thus far. But you can see there's a regular rectangular pool in addition to the Lazy River, um, some palm trees, and I'm told that there is some sort of a Christmas light spectacular going on at night. Uh, I think it's only accessible to hotel guests on the weekends, but during the week it is also uh, open to the public for a, a uh, small admissions fee. And so we'll be checking that out a bit later. I believe that starts at uh, uh, just after dark, probably at 5, 5.30, something like that. And then you have Discovery Green here which uh, consists of a, a lake and, as the name of the park implies, some green space. And this time of year, just before Christmas, there is also ice skating, which uh, may have been called off due to the pandemic. Um, I can see it's covered there, but uh, I can also see that they, they at least attempted to have it this year. I believe that, uh, that it, it typically opens at 4 p.m., uh, Fridays through Sundays, so uh, perhaps it will open shortly. Otherwise, uh, on the just on the other side of Discovery Green, you've got the Hilton Americas Hotel, and then uh, we don't really have a view here of the rest of downtown, but it's off there to our west, and then the George R. Brown Convention Center would be 
off to the left uh, farther east. And then at our back would be uh, Minute Maid Park, where the Astros, of course, play. And then uh, beyond the Hilton Americas there is the Toyota Center, where the Rockets play. And then uh, we're high enough on the 22nd floor here that we can even see the Texas Medical Center, the largest medical center in the world. And you can see now just in the center of the screen there, peeking out from behind the buildings of the medical center, you should be able to see uh, the NRG complex, the NRG Stadium and Astrodome. Um, I can't tell which we're looking at because of the visibility. Well, that's really all I had for you today. In conclusion, whether you are visiting Houston, particularly for a convention, or you're a Houstonian just looking for the perfect uh, staycation location, uh, and I would say particularly if you're a family and you're looking for a, uh, a, a hotel with water park-like features during perhaps the warmer months, you should definitely evaluate this hotel. I believe that the prices fluctuate seasonally and they may be a bit depressed here during uh, the pandemic, but, uh, but either way, you should, uh, you should check it out and it should be on your list. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed this tour. Again, this is room 2239 um, at the Marriott Marquis in downtown Houston. And until next time, stay safe, travel safe, March W13 out.